Hi, y'all. I'm back. And I think this is Monday. It is Monday. And um, we're going to do some more going through craft supplies that I've not used for at least a year and see what I've got. And we may end up doing a craft from what I find. I don't know. All of y'all, well, not all of y'all, but some of you have asked why I put the heat transfer stickers on the platter that I had originally stenciled with chalk. It would have turned out really good if I had have just used clear resin on it. I think it would have been gorgeous. The chalk and the stencil works. That wasn't the issue. The issue was me. When I went to pour the resin, of course y'all saw, I poured the silk white mica with the purple pigment. And it formed an opaque color, but it was sort of clear in the center. And what it did is it, it washed out the, uh, the area that I stenciled with the chalk. You could barely see it. But you could sort of see an outline. You knew something, but you, you couldn't really make out what it was. So, I used stickers and put the stickers on the inside. Actually, on the outside of it, and then I put a top coat on it. And some of you have asked for me to show you how to use a heat transfer sticker. And I will show you again. I've showed you in a video already, the one that had the aisle. A heat transfer sticker and uh, it was like a little coaster mold actually that coaster mold with that aisle is one of my favorite things and it's it was the first thing that sold at my um, craft show right after I got done making it um, and they actually ordered more but heat transfers if you get them off of Timu will have almost a it's not stiff, okay? And that's how you can tell. If you're not sure if you have a heat transfer or not, the back of it will almost feel like a rubbery fabric, I guess is how to uh, explain it. And, and they do peel off, but they are not sticky. They will not stick on, on your resin. And a lot of people like putting it down and then putting a top coat on after the, the piece is finished. And it's probably the easiest thing to do. I prefer, and that's what I did last time, but I prefer the way I did it with the aisle. And, and the way I did it with the aisle was I put a thin coat of clear resin on the coaster. And then I put the aisle upside down where the front of it, which you were going to see, was turned toward the bottom. But the way I got it to stick is I used a little bit of Mod Podge. You can use glue. Or you can use Mod Podge, whatever. To make sure it sticks. And let it dry before you put the resin in there. I also put uh, leaves on top of the aisle when I did it. And, and I used Mod Podge. You can't see it when you put... Uh, when you finish it, because you've got a coat of resin in there as long as you let it dry. The only way you're going to see streaks and gunkiness is if you do that and then you pour the resin right on top. It's not going to look good. But if you let it dry, because it dries clear, you won't be able to tell that you did it. Um, and they're really easy to use. I don't see me using another one uh, for uh, the next few videos. Uh, I've got a Christmas tree that I want to do with the little candle uh, insert. I got that mold, and Rose made me one of those little uh, silicone candle inserts so I can put it in the mold, and then I can put a candle in after it's cured. I want to go ahead and get that done to show y'all that. And I'm going to probably be going through um, the craft stuff for a couple of videos, and so it's probably going to be um, four or five videos along before I even think about doing a video on heat transfer. But I do have one 
And it's the one that's got the aisle with the autumn leaves, if you're looking for that. Uh, but it's very easy to do. And if you start doing it and you've got questions, you can always uh, IM me on Facebook. Um, and, and I would be happy to answer any questions you've got. And, of course, we've got a Facebook group. And um, everybody in there is really good. If I'm not available, somebody else can help you, too. So you may want to think about joining the Facebook group. We've got, it's, it's growing. And, and we've got some great people over there. Um, and the link to that is, is down below. And of course, I guess I should say hello, uh, for all of y'all that have never been here before. Uh, thank you so much for coming. My name is Beth and I'm so glad to have you here, uh, for my subscribers or the ones that have watched me many times. Thank you for coming back. We're going to get started. Um, I lost the video and see, I had told you I was using my iPhone and I, I use my iPhone because it. It comes in better. The The videos are better. Um, but I knew. I knew if I have, if my camera goes off, it's done. It's over. Uh, there's no way of splicing them. There's no way of editing. I, and, and that's what happened with my last video. And I spent, oh, I was so frustrated, y'all. And I don't get that frustrated very easily. And I was about ready just to throw it all out the window. Um, I spent six hours trying to get two pieces of video together. I couldn't do it. And and I was amazed I was able to do that. I think it's like 14 minutes long. That's the shortest video I have ever made. It's probably going to be the shortest video I will ever make. Uh, but at least you were able to see me pouring it. And what I did, and I showed you the finished pictures. Uh, that was the best that I could do. And I am so sorry about that. But, you know, I'm back on my Samsung Galaxy. Um, because I do know that I can put those two together if I need to stop. So, we're going to get started. And I ordered this. This is, I thought this going to be still clay. I haven't even touched my clay stuff. This is the stuff that was in the drawer that I haven't used. This is not stuff that I do was using before I did YouTube. And you have to understand, before I started a YouTube channel, I did clay all the time. I mean, every day I was doing clay, some form of clay. And um, this right here. Do y'all know what that is? Let me pick these up. Do y'all know what that is? I'm going to tell you. It's for beads. And you put your beads on here. And they set like this. Where, see, on here. So you can bake them without them touching. That's what it is. I don't use it. I make a, <laughs> I just don't use it. I bought it thinking I needed it, but what I do is something really simple. I get card stock, start, stock, not start. I get card stock, and I make it into an accordion thing. I'm so sorry about that. I, I, I fold it like an accordion fold, and then I stretch it out, and I put my beads in inside the folds. And they bake great. So, I don't ever use this. But I have it. Uh, I'm sure there's other. Uh, now, the one thing that I have used that for is if I'm using polyurethane finish on the beads and I dip my beads, I'll use that to dry them. And it works really well for that, too. I, <laughs> I have a set of these. Uh, but I have another set. And I could use this as resin too. I could use this for like the edge of a mold if I was going to. But it, it's, it's graduated circles. That's all it is. And they're metal. Again for clay. 
heavy duty scouring pads. <laughs> and and you you're probably saying, well, they should go in your kitchen. Well, I didn't buy these for my kitchen. You see the texture? See the texture on that? It is lovely on clay. It is. And so yeah, these are these I bought to use with my clay. This is an acrylic blank. Now I have bukus of these upstairs. And I do have plans on this, and I'm going to do a video on this, and it's going to be resin. So you pull, and I'll pull the, both sides off. No, I won't, because you can leave one side on, and that way you know that the resin's not going to get in the back. But there won't be, I think these are 5 by 7s and it will be clear. I'll pull it off so you can see. Just, uh, I'll, I'll pull some of it off. So you can see. So you can tell that it's clear. See, so it's going to be clear when it's pulled off. And I'm going to do a video showing you what you can do with these right here. And I have a whole stack of them upstairs. I don't know how that ended up in the closet. Oh, Lordy. I forgot about all this stuff. Stamps. Do y'all do stamps? I have every kind of stamp you can think of. And yes, you can incorporate this into resin. You can you can make silicon inserts by doing this in clay and then filling it up with resin. I have all sorts of stamps. And and I could oh that's cute. I may keep that up. Uh I could spend all day long going through my stamps and I'm doing this really in a hurry these are all on wooden posts and you see that I just use that part once you don't have to use the whole stamp you could just use the wing and I just use that part on something these are all sort of tribal looking oh this should be cool insert. Okay, I'm going to leave that out. See, I'm leaving certain ones out. And most of these I got at a thrift store. I didn't choose every one of these. They just came. I don't even know what that is. What is that thing? Oh, that's... <laughs> it's a bear. And a snake. I don't like snakes, y'all. It'd be a curse of M. Um, and then I have like little sets. Of course, with the with the wooden with the rubber. This is season's greetings. I'll keep that up. And these are clear ones. I don't know. I can't hold anything in my hand. Oh, that says trick or treat. Boo to you. These are Halloween little clears. And I don't know what these are. They're stuck together. That says Merry Christmas. And that's a holly leaf, so I'm st I'm leaving those out. And then I have this stuff. This is when I was doing card making. This is adhesive, double sided adhesive. The little tabbies. And then this is the the little dots that you can pop out and they stick to to raise the paper up. That's more of the double sided tabby thing. I have bukus of this stuff. That's the adhesive double sided. There's another one. 
There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. This is, ah, that gets warm. Where did I get this? I got this when I was using Silhouette for my rhinestones. And that will get warm. It takes batteries. I think the batteries are dead, but the batteries go in there. These are lovely little things to have. And I need to keep a couple of those out for my molds. Uh, you can incorporate so much of this in between all different crafts. Oh, wow, I bought these last year. And I was going to do something with them, but I never did. Little ornaments. There's another one. I think I bought about ten of them. There's a big stamp. That ends my stamps. These I bought off of Timu. This is one of the first things I bought off of Timu, and I forgot where I put them. And that's the plant fiber. And I love these things. I got like five packs of these. And I'll show them to you. They're dry. These are the ones that stretch. And I think I showed you on the, the very, when, I think my very first Timu video, I showed you how, see how they'll stretch? They're strong. <laughs> and they'll stretch out. Look at that. Yeah, I love those things. And that's what they, they look like. Simple Pleasant. And there's 50 of them in there. I'm going to leave those out. Oh, here's more nail art. See, I, I buy this stuff and then I put it up and I forget that I have it. And I don't know where I bought this. Oh, this is Christmas. Oh, my. Now, where'd that yellow thing go so I can show you? Can you see it? I think that's Christmas. Oh, it's upside down. Yeah. Christmas trees. I'm going to leave this out. This is Christmas. Christmas. This is all Christmas. I think that's Christmas. Yep. Yep. These are snowflakes and baubles or ornaments. This is Christmas. They're little bit tiny things, so. These are all Christmas. I use some of these. Ooh, that's cool looking. Those are look cute on those little Christmas sweaters that I do uh, in clay. Up and here's some more. I don't need uh, any more nail transfers. Sorry, guys. Um, it's my ringtone. Nail transfers. This is more nail stuff. And you know, I have never used this. I bought bukus of them. 
Uh, now you need the little gel, gel, not jail. Uh, yeah, that's how I say it, jail. Uh, you, <laughs> you, you need the little gel thing. This is Christmas. Look at there. You can tell I've never used these. Look how shiny they are. Upside down. It has all different sayings and stuff. I have bookies of them. Is that upside down? That's the right way. They're so shiny. They're they're uh, reflective. Your silicone would pick those out. They are so fine. I have bookies of them. Never used them. If y'all have used these, let me know. It's got a happy Thanksgiving on it. Leaves. That's just different patterns right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Because, oh, it's just reflecting bad. That's different patterns. I'm trying to get it so where it doesn't reflect, but where you can see it. Ah, maybe that way. This is the one I tried because it's got red paint all over it. Different patterns. But I couldn't get it to work. Let me know if y'all have ever used this. They're for nails. But I got to use with clay. But I, I would think that you could use it with resin too. I got these little things at the Dollar Tree last year. They work really good. Oh, this is cool. It's a big stamp. Here's another. This is like a textured stamp. I have big pieces of stamps. Oh, there's some more of those ornaments. I got a bunch of those too. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, see, I can use this for the resin. Ooh, this is this is a light purple crushed mirror glass. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, indeedy. Looky there. Okay. Here's a little bit of everything. I need to be putting this somewhere and getting it. Okay. Those I'm keeping out. I'll put that over there. This is molds, this is cutters. I think these are holly leaves. This is Merry Christmas. Oh, that would be a cute little thing. I've had that for, I know, at least a year. This is stuff that I bought. <laughs> this is something that I was trying to make a texture plate with. and This was used clay. And so you see this? Now this is this is baked clay. You see how it bends? 
that is the way polymer clay is supposed to be. If it's baked right, it will it will bend. It's very, very pliable. And that's the way polymer clay should do. It should not break. It should not crack. And see, then it goes right back to. But I got, I did this trying to make uh, a template so I could push down into the clay. And I didn't use it because of something. I don't know. I don't know why. But yeah. Oh, this is another attempt. I think the detail got lost. I think that's what it is. But yeah, these are baked pieces. There again. See, it, it folds. And then it boings right back. These are like little Christmas. Those would be good for fillers. Little trees, little mittens, little tiny mittens. Oh, that looks like a hat. Those are little hats. Those are mittens and those are boots. Those are stockings. Okay. Look at the snowflakes. All this would be really good fillers. Oh, that's cool too. Okay, I'm going to keep those out. Right, we got more cutters. Gingerbread. Here, let me put. Gingerbread metal cutter. A bigger gingerbread metal cutter. Oops. They actually store really good inside each other. A little gingerbread house. A little bitty gingerbread house. An ornament shape. Another ornament shape. These are all cutters. A mitten cutter. Can you see that? Mitten. Snowmen. Two of them. I never even use this star. Candy cane. Star. Christmas tree. Snowflake. These are our cutters. Snowman. finger out of the way. See, there's three snowmen. They come in graduated sizes. There's a heart cutter. Another gingerbread. An angel. A beanie hat. Okay. I have no idea. This is, uh, uh, these are, these are clear stamps. Oh, this is just baggies and baggies full of clear stamps, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to show you every one of these or not, because there's just so, so many of them. Uh, these 
these are just they're all different kinds of stamps oh that's a little big cat can you see the little big cat no you can't see it can you see it on that the laying down cat no you can't you can't really see it there it goes yeah, that's a cute stamp then I have butterfly stamps and I have I'm just I don't need to go I've got dog stamps and butterfly stamps and uh, mushrooms here's a mushroom stamp uh, I have leaf stamps I have little birds little tiny birdie stamps uh, flower stamps every kind of stamp you can think of here's a peacock stamp Uh, uh, they're, they're just uh, uh, a raccoon stamp <laughs> I have uh, yeah there's just leaf stamps I have uh, it, it would take forever to go through every one of these stamps uh, and this is just a little baggie of them See, that's a little bitty doggy stamp. I know you can't see. It. There it goes. More stamps. More stamps. I can show you those because they're in. Yeah, these are like leaves and flowers and butterflies. Look at those. Little pine branches. And then I have die cuts. I have packs of die cuts. Um, and I have used die cuts with uh, clay. I know you're. that's not what they were used for, but um, I have used many die cuts with clay. See, this is all die cuts. And I've used them with cards, too. And I'm not going to go through every one of these die card cuts. Uh, not right now, anyway. Uh, oh, this is a cool one, though. I will show you this one. Is that the atomic one that I'm thinking of? Yeah. I really like retro and vintage. Um... And I found these, and yes, I've used these with clay a lot. You see that design? And that design. And that design. <laughs> and this. Anybody who's really into the 50s and 60s, there's a whole slew of them in here. They're, they're just all really, uh, it's like the atomic 50s, 60s design. And I, I have animals. I have patterns. I have uh, frames. I, there's just bukus of them. I even have steampunk uh, die cuts. Um, but I've not used them in a while. Okay, here is more stamps. Oh, and here's a Christmas tree. This is lovely, and I wish I could do a silicone inlay for this, and I may try that. This is plastic. Can y'all see that? I absolutely, this is plastic. I don't know if you can see that. See, this phone just does not pick up the detail like the iPhone does. Ooh, I may try that on silicone because that would be absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to try this probably tonight. Uh, 
And I don't know what all these are. These are just more stamps. Uh, it's patterns. Letters. Alphabet. This is a bunch of alphabet letters. Sayings. Uh, I, I don't, it's a little bit of everything. You can't really see this stuff, though. This is more die cuts and more, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is just, I don't know. know what those are. I forgot. But do they open? What are those? Oh, yeah. Those. I have a slew of them. I have bukus of these. Uh, and these are just, yeah, this is just a mixture of uh, I don't know. What is that? Is that a broom? What is that? A bird cage with it? I don't know. What does that say? No, you can't see it. See? You can't see this stuff. Okay. I'm putting this up because I don't think there's anything. It's just a mess of stuff. And it's, it's all... Uh, I'm throwing it all over the place. Trying to get it back in here because it's just a, a lot of little tiny clear stamps and a lot of uh, die cuts, which I don't, I, I've never, I don't think I've ever, that's, that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to keep an eye on the time, too. Um, I think most of this is stamping. Letters. This is more stamps. Don't use this stuff anymore. This is just like cactuses. It's cactus and flowers. These are just like, and that's a blank wooden. There's nothing on that side yeah these are just more stamps big piece of stamps this is happy halloween more stamps Stamps. Stamps. <laughs> oh, y'all. More stamps. Stamps. 
That's a stamp holder. You put the stamp on there. It's got a grip. And you can. And this had a stamp on it. It says Merry Christmas. But I don't know. I wish I could find that though. But the stamp is gone. And these I, I will probably put up. Because I don't use a lot of stamping right now. Unless I can figure out some way of incorporating that in with resin. This is just stamps everywhere. Stamps. I'm trying to get this off the table so I can get more on here. Good gracious. Oh, I forgot about these. I got those at a thrift store. I don't think I ever even opened these. I never opened them. I bought them. They were $2.99 over a year ago. I'm going to open them up. Do y'all do that? Do y'all buy stuff and then you put it somewhere and you forget that you have it? Oh, these are cool looking. Oh, wee. They look rusted. Look at that. Oh, see? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Yes, I like that. There's bukus of them. Oh, they're just... And they're all the same size. Oh, wow, y'all. Yeah, look. I don't know how many's in this bag, but you know there's a bunch of them. Look at there. If y'all have a good idea for these, share it in the comments before, uh, be before, below. Let me know what you think these would be good in. These right here. I got a whole bag of them. What do y'all think? forgot I had those. Those are staying out. This is just more stamps. Power stamps. Oh, look. That all is cute. The elephant. Oh, they even made the snake look cute. Butterflies. You can tell I like butterflies. Butterflies. That's pretty. Ooh, I forgot about these cats. Now, I know you can use these in resin as inlays. I'm going to leave those out. Stamp. 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 Oh, good gracious. Stamp. Balloons. Stamp. Butterfly. Stamp. A bear with an ice cream cone. Stamp. Hearts stamp. Daisy stamps. More stamps. Oh, well, oh, these are odd. These are plastic. They have a handle. Oh. But 
they go in like this so you can that's a watermelon little boat crown cherries I'm trying to hurry oh a snail a shark Oh, right there. Okay. I don't know what that is. What is that? Is that like an alien? UFO alien ship? And a paw. And we're going to keep going. Feets, little feeties. Those would be cute for uh, inlays, wouldn't they? Hey, I'm gonna leave those out. I don't know what that says. These are frames. Here's your stamps. Little ducky. Memo. A flower. This is the type of stamp I love. The scenes. That's a beach one. I don't know. Oh, this is to and from. That's a tag stamp. And these are all just little bitty tiny writing stamps where I can't tell you what they are anyway. Okay. Another bag. Mostly stamps, y'all. See, I've not done cards, I don't know, in several years. I used to do cards all the time. Oh, good gracious, I should have called this a stamping video. It's a stamp pad. Black cat. Just little stamps. These are all just little bitty stamps. Little flowers. Little bumblebee. These are just little accents. Little ladybug. Dragonfly. Butterfly. That's what that looks like. Another heart stamp. Now these I got. And of course I never opened them. And those are for letters and numbers. And you're supposed to be able to put it there and then stamp it. But I never used it. Oh, this is more stamps. Good gracious. I got that for the texture. <laughs> uh, I kept it. It was in a, a box or something. And I didn't. It's a luggage tag is what it is. But I kept it to use the texture. 
I do remember that. Staffy Duck. That's a yin yang. Little baby face. Miss you. A cat. Tribal. That doesn't show, but that is some kind of frame. I can't make out what's on it. Heart. Jesus loves you. It's your day. Little feet. Baby feet. A cat. A heart. A puppy dog. Another heart. Just a note. Four leaf clover, three leaf clover. Thanks. I don't know what, oh, uh, that's like a tribal fishbone thing. I don't know what that is. And a paw print. Oh, good gracious. Is this nothing but stamps? More stamps. Oh, uh, I like this stamp. You can never find anything to use it with. This would be cool to, to be able to do an inlay with this somehow. Wouldn't it? I always like that stamp. I might try something with it. I'm dropping stuff. It's just, just a viney stamp. A leaf stamp. This is just a textured stamp. Can you see the texture on that? You can't. This, this phone does not pick it up good at all. That's another textured stamp, but you can't really see that either. It doesn't show it on the front. This is a really pretty stamp right here. That would be a really pretty inlay, too. I like this. This is a peace sign. Here's another peace sign. These are just little tiny flowers. That'd be high. Okay. This is not all my stamps either. I don't have a lot of my stamps. I have. Oh, I like this one though. See, I bought that at Goodwill for $1.99. Let me take the tag off so you can see the front of it. I like this one a lot. He is risen with the crosses. Look how nasty it is, though. I wonder if that's cleanable. And then I have those. I have another leaf one. And I have a cork. <laughs> actually, you see the texture of that? That actually makes really cool effects on stamping and on clay. And I have more of those. This is just, uh, you know, 
like little things that says hugs and stuff. We don't have to go through all that. Uh, I would love, but what's going to hold the silicone in? That's my question. I could put that plasticine or whatever that stuff is. I don't know where it's at or I would show it to you. I made sure that it was sulfur free because you're not supposed to use anything when you're making molds. Uh, that has sulfur in it because it will affect the um, the silicone from curing. And so I got two uh, blocks of this stuff uh, from Michael's when it was on sale. See, I buy stuff and then I don't remember what I did with it. It's because I got so much. And that's what I'm trying to do right now as you go through this stuff. More of the ornaments. I told you I bought a bunch of them. Okay, I think this is I'm having to pick this up. We're almost to the end of this, y'all. This is a good thing. Just pick the thing up. Okay. More ornaments. It's a basket stamp. See, look at the texture. See, stuff like that on clay is awesome. So sometimes I'll find a stamp, and I won't use the stamp for the stamp, but I will use this part for texture on something. That's a pretty stamp. And then that one. More stamps. And these are just like little bitty sayings. So I'm not going to show you these because you, you wouldn't be able to see what they are anyway. They're just little clear stamps with different quotations. Here's a dragonfly stamp. And I have this bag. And I'm not sure what's in here either. These were different stamps, but I love these. A little smiley face stamp. A little peace stamp. A paw. A rainbow. A flower. Is that a ladybug? I think that's a ladybug. A double heart. A butterfly, of course. <clears throat> a double star. And lips. And string. And this is bookmarks. This is a bookmark kit. That's what this is. So a little brush. It comes with a cardboard for the bookmarks. You stamp your own bookmarks. You put your ribbon in. Even comes with little baggies for bookmarks. <laughs> yeah, I've never used that. I love these stamps, though. I, I do. I think those stamps are cool. Okay. I've showed you those already. Thank yeah. Okay, 
These are our cutters. And these are good for clay. These are the type of cutters. They look that way. And then, oops. Now, if you didn't want to push them down, you can just use them this way without pushing this. You can cut your clay that way. But if you want more of a design, you push it. You see what it's doing? Or you get more of a design. Because these petals, this phone does not pick up good. Let me see. Yeah, you see the design on it now? The petals. Yeah, it has designs on it. But if you don't want that and you just want the flower cut out, you can do it either way. And the same thing. This is a snowflake. Same thing. If you want the design, you do it that way. If you just want the snowflake, you cut it that way. Here's another one. Here's another one. That's a heart. And let's see, you could have the heart or you could have the design. I don't know why you can't see it good. There it goes. That's a smaller flower with the same design on the inside. But it's not picking it up. There it goes. It's just got lines. It's actually not the same design. Here's a smaller one. And here's a smaller heart. I wonder if you could pour silicone in these things. Hmm. Wow, I'm going to have to try that. I'm not worried about this part because I can put a thing of rice in a, and, and have that part sitting there where this would be flat. So I might try that. Okay. And then we have more cutters. This is actually my some of my Christmas cutters, so I'm going to go over these with you. Um, some of these were not cheap. Some of them I bought off of Etsy. This one right here I bought off of Etsy, and it cost me $29 for this cutter right here. See how they're opposite? That way you can make a pair of earrings where they're they're opposite. And I have a cutter that's that shape that does the back. It's two pieces. There's your Christmas tray. A snowflake. Pumpkin. Witch's hat, little mitten, little beanie cap, stocking cap, little reindeer, that's a beard for Santa. <clears throat> I believe this is Star of David. Not sure what that is. Little stocking. Another little snowflake. 
gingerbread man. Little Christmas tree. Another little reindeer moose. You can tell I use those sweater cutters. They also have clay in them. There's a little beard. There's the little cap that goes with the beard. A snowman. Another Christmas tree. I think we've gotten down to it. I think we have gone through that whole tub of stuff. Miracles never cease to happen. And we're right at an hour. So, I'm going to end this video. We have gone through the whole thing uh, of craft supplies. That is what was in my drawers upstairs that I have not touched in a year. That doesn't even begin to, uh, if I took you out in the mudroom, I have three closets out there that's just loaded with clay stuff. And, and I will go through that because it helps me remember what I have. And um, it helps me get some designs, uh, some ideas for designs. Um, so we will do that. Uh, I'm going to go out there, I think, and um, play around with silicone and see if I can't uh, figure out how to do a mold in that. Maybe if I put the plastic plasticine, I don't know what it's called, uh, around the edge and pour the silicone. I don't know because I know I can't just pour the silicone right on top of that because it's going to run all over the place. Because there's not a lip up at the top. So that that's not going to, yeah, I'm going to have to do it the other way. But I think it would be cool to have a mold, a teepee mold. I don't know why. I just think it would be cool. And I'd love one of that. But, you know, basically the the wood is cut out. I'm wondering if I couldn't. I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to pour that, too. I'd like to pour a lot of these and use them for filler. So I may do that tonight, too, with some resin. And get those done for fillers to do different projects with. Holly leaves. I can't forget my glass. That I'm glad I found. Alrighty, I hope y'all uh, saw something that um, gave you in inspiration. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button for me. And um, if you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Same thing with the Facebook page. It's free. Um, but we're starting something new over there tomorrow. Uh, we're going to start doing, uh, uh, it's called Timu Tuesdays over on the Facebook group. And what it is, is every Tuesday it will pop up. And if you have found a really good deal on like a mold or craft supplies or, you know, anything uh, any of us would use. And it doesn't have to be a craft supply. If you think it's a, you know, a really good deal that somebody would like to know about, they're going to be able to put the links to all that. And it doesn't have to be from Timu. It could be from Michael's or Joanne's or somewhere like that too. <clears throat> that allows everybody to find it. Because there's been a lot of things that I would not have found if other people hadn't, uh, you know, I would me and said, Hey, Beth, have you seen this over here? Um, and so I just want to open it up and give everybody the opportunity to find it too. So if that's something that you would like, jump on over to the Facebook group and and um, join us over there. And uh, that, that's something new we're starting tomorrow. And I'm a little excited about that. Um, Alrighty, I hope y'all have a fantastic night, and uh, I will see you again tomorrow with a craft. Bye-bye.